Hi friends, this is Trish and welcome to Happy Holy Healthy Life. Today, I just wanted to make a quick video that will hopefully encourage you if you struggle with chronic laziness, especially as it is related to housework, cleaning, organizing, the whole bit. I wanna admit right out the gate, I am a fellow struggler. So I hope that these two Bible verses impact you the way they impacted me. So yesterday I opened up one of my old devotionals and the verse was Proverbs 14.1, which says, the wise woman builds her house, but with her own hands, the foolish one tears hers down. Now, as soon as I read this, another verse immediately came to mind that I think goes with this. It's Proverbs 18, 9, which says a lazy person is as bad as someone who destroys things. Now, how are those two connected? In these verses, we see three types of people. We see a wise woman who is building up her house. We see a foolish person who is tearing hers down with her own hands. And we see somebody that is lazy, which God sees as bad as the woman who essentially tears down her house with her own hands. Now, let me explain this. It will probably come as no surprise to you that if you avoid your housework for weeks at a time, your house will quickly look like a complete disaster. I'm going to tell you a really embarrassing but true story about myself in college that illustrates this point. I was a resident assistant, RA for short, so I had my own college dorm room all to myself and I love decorating so whenever I knew somebody was coming over the place would look spotless and everybody thought I was super organized by nature but when there was plans for nobody to be around I would just revert to my normal messy cluttered unorganized self. So a few weeks had passed and my room was looking like a full disaster, like a train wreck hit it. What I didn't anticipate was that the maintenance man who had a master key to all the dorms was gonna need to come into my bathroom to fix something I don't even remember. And he did this while I was gone. And he literally let me know later that he thought somebody had actually broken in and vandalized my room because it was such a disaster. And the only other time he had seen it was when it was in its perfect company ready condition. And this illustrates this point so perfectly. When we are lazy about our housework and our chores and our tasks, we are essentially tearing our house down with our own hands, not by literally rummaging through things and <laughs> ripping things apart, but by our negligence. The same results occur. It might literally look like a crazed criminal has broken into your house and ripped through your whole house just by neglect, just by laziness. Whereas the opposite in Proverbs 14.1 is somebody that is actively building up her house, which for many of us looks like our daily tasks, doing the dishes, vacuuming, taking out trash, taking care of pets, laundry, all of that good stuff. And the amazing thing is that God sees that as wisdom. It actually matters to God. I think in our day and age, housework is often seen as a very menial chore. And especially if you're doing things like ministry work, or maybe you're a school teacher or you're serving other people, in different capacities, it's easy to think that, oh, who cares if my house is a wreck? I'm doing the things that really matter. But God actually equates wisdom with the small things in life and with serving our families. And of course, this applies to deeper matters like building up your family with your words, encouraging them. I once read in a book that children who are neglected by their parents have as severe damage as children who were actively hurt and abused used by their parents. And that seems to go right back to this very verse. So it all really comes full circle. I would encourage you to look at your own life because everybody's circumstances are different. If you're a single mom that has five kids and are taking night classes and working two jobs, the condition of your house might be a different scenario than somebody that is a stay-at-home wife with no kids and lots and lots of time on her hands. So I don't mean for this to be condemning. I mean for it to be encouraging just so that you can see what seems to be small tasks as actually elevated in God's sight. And many times our physical surroundings are actually pictures of what's going on inside of us. Maybe we're also neglecting devotional time with God and our spiritual life feels like a mess. It's amazing how character manifests itself in every part of your life, whether they're physical things like cleaning the house or spiritual things like reading the Bible and praying or relational things like how you speak to your family. So again, I would just encourage you to pray to God and ask him to give you a vision for this season of your life. 
And the amazing thing is that James 1.5 says, if any of you lacks wisdom, you should ask God who gives generously to all without finding fault and it will be given to you. So the beautiful thing about God is he doesn't just set super high standards and leave you all by yourself to figure it out. If you pray to him and ask, he will give you divine ideas and he can even give you supernatural energy. So I hope this was as encouraging to you as it was to me. I'm going to go wash my dishes. God bless. And if you've never subscribed before, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button.